billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross was discovered earlier this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning at the funeral of his only son, the claimant of opposition, Jordan Cross. In a notorious recluse, Thomas Cross has not left his private life in years, and authorities are now looking into a connection between the two deaths. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the Highmores picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is against whom? Morning 47. We have a lead on the shadow client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gun runner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. I'm ready for it, but I just can't imagine what kind of idiot would come out here and mess with us. Can't help thinking about that other farm place, North Carolina. Can't remember the name. Some bad water in the ship. I mean, there was this group of Boy Scouts. They're gonna sell lottery coupons. Man, they were so sweet. All they could do what had to be done. And next thing you know, the cops all over. Come on, give me a break.
reports of gunshots fired. Echo Alpha, can you on his own planet. But that new interrogation guy with the mask? What, Berg was it? What the hell's going on? You know what? I talked to him earlier over a smoke. He's a really nice guy. Really eloquent, soft-spoken. Used to work with Mossad as a chemical interrogation expert. Yeah, super creepy more like it. Why the mask? Horrific scars? What? Well, it's for show, isn't it? told me Mossad kicked him out because he'd started adding hypnosis and mind control to his bag of tricks. Apparently it all got a bit too much for them with the mask. Just there to support the terror he likes to instill in his subjects. It's all rather fascinating, really. Ah, almost blew his head off the first time I ran into him. Came out of that lab of his, you know, with that mask. I thought I'd come face to face with some backwater murderous cannibal type. Yeah, <laughs> guess it means the mask is working. Anyway, I'm happy he's on our side. Oh, I'd hate to be strapped to a chair, drunk to hell, and having to look at that mask while answering questions. Hell yeah, that would suck out loud. has planned. Seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. And nobody can switch sides like Graves and, and 
just expect to be accepted. Tessa and order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I, I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear, right? <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. And not to mention how far she'll go. You think she'll order us to be removed? If she does, I got a 45 cal with her initials on it. I hear you. Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? Continuity in your existence. You didn't even know existed. My wife asked she's so into all that stuff. Yeah, we're actually getting DNA tested to prove that we're related to Field Marshal Robert. It's not cheap. So, the boss hires his former Interpol agent to do strategic analysis for us. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty smooth. If she can be trusted, of course. Bit of a strange one. Not strange like Rose, mind you, but kind of, uh, aloof. I heard from the technicians that she's a Cambridge graduate, top of her class, things like that, you know? Join Interpol a few years after. Did you know that her main focus there was tracking Rose? <laughs> I mean, how poetic is that? Yeah. I don't know about poetry, but it sure is a twisted move by the boss. Then again, she was supposed to be the best, and the boss only hires the best. I guess we'll see if she can handle things on this side of the fence. If not, I'm sure Rose has some elaborate retirement plan ready for her. Why not Reynard? The way I see it, Reynard's a lone wolf. 
Berg's too specialized. I mean, he's no strategist. Parvati is... No. Parvati's Parvati. I think Rose wants to lead. Fiercely dedicated. Completely ruthless. Did you ever hear his plan to take out Simon Devereaux, the, um, the CEO of Biosphere? I know. He's building a bomb. Right, right. So Devereaux is he's like exactly like Thomas Cross. Totally impossible to get near. But also a tech geek, and he just ordered this new Link 4 smartwatch. So Rose, crazy bastard, gets the idea to turn the battery unit for a Link 4 into, get this, a bomb. And then swap the watches in delivery. One push of the button, bye-bye Devereaux. Whew, that's, uh... Pretty extreme. Enemy operative, I know, but it just seems so unsportsmanlike. Yes, and there you have it, right on the nose. And again, that's why Rose is the head of operations. To him, the end justifies the means. And I mean, there is nothing that dead eyed psychopath would not do. Hey, nice threat. Just cross your fingers that the damn thing doesn't fail again. Rose gets a lot of important phone calls. He gets mad as hell when the antenna's down. Guess he and the boss should have thought of that before they moved HQ to the middle of friggin' nowhere. Of course reception's crap out here. We barely have indoor plumbing as it is. <laughs> Not a country boy, huh? Huh, <laughs> yeah. So what's wrong with the relay station, anyway? Switch is loose. Old model. If it happens again, I guess we can weld it in place or something. Well, I'm sure, if it comes to that. That right, is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this right. crowd. Sure. What's up, Graves? Oh, you know, just, um, you know, wanted to make sure everything was running smoothly. So, the connection's secure? No weird signals or anything? No weird signals, no. Connectivity's a bit of a problem, but we're rerouting some things. It all looks fine. Should we be on alert? No. No, I, um, I just like making sure. <laughs> Big ears out there, you know? You can, um, never be too careful. Sure. We're on top of it. No need to worry. Glad to hear it. If you 